Samian. How can you not love this beautiful lush coat, expressive face, and trademark Sammy smile? Hi, welcome to Animal Facts. Today, we are pleased to be doing a collaboration with Yeti's Place, a channel featuring a beautiful Samian with a wonderful personality. Awesome channel! We highly recommend you head over and check them out. There's a link in the card or in the description below. Let's get started. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to become part of our notification squad to not miss a single fact. Number 5 The Samiad is one of the world's oldest dog breeds. The Samiad, which I am assured is the correct pronunciation by Yeti's Place, although not the only accepted pronunciation, is one of the 14 ancient dog breeds with genetic footprints closest to wolves. Along with breeds such as the Siberian Husky and Pomeranians, Samiads belong to the Spitz family of dogs originating in Asia and were bred by the Samiad people of Siberia to pull sleds, herd reindeer, and hunt. It's said that the Samiad treated their dogs more as members of the family than possessions, which will explain an upcoming fact. The Samiad first appeared in England in the late 19th century and in the US in the early 20th. The breed was added to the American Kennel Club's working dog group in 1906. Number 4 The Samiad breed has been on expeditions to both Earth's poles. In the 19th century, adventurers acquired some Samiads to help them on expeditions to the North and South Poles. Norwegian explorer Fritjof Nansen, I know I probably butchered that name, chose Samis for his first trip to the North Pole in 1893 because of the breed's endurance and trainability. Although his trip was not successful because obviously he'd never been on a road trip and um, forgot to pack enough food, the dogs proved to be excellent sled dogs. English explorer Robert Scott and Norwegian explorer Roald Edmondson also used these dogs on their expeditions to the South Pole. Scott had a team of 33 dogs, Edmondson had 52. Edmondson beat Scott to the pole with his team, led by a Samiad named Ita. Number 3 Adaptable, friendly, and gentle. They're great dogs, but they're not for everyone. Samiads need to be full members of the family. Samiads are known as affectionate family dogs, though they often bond closest with one person in the household. These dogs need to be with their people, and like any people dog, when left alone too often or for too long, can become lonely, depressed, and destructive. Samiads are known to be chewers, and can be quite destructive if they are under-exercised or left alone for long periods. While very friendly and smart, the Samiad can be challenging for novice dog owners. This is a vocal dog and needs to be kept busy and active to prevent undesirable behaviors. The Samiad also has a strong hunting instinct and will give chase after small animals, including cats. But if introduced to fellow pets, the Samiad could do well with the family cat. Agility and tracking are excellent activities to keep your Sammy physically and mentally stimulated. If you're considering one of these dogs, or any other breed for that matter, remember there are breed specific rescue organizations all over the world that are usually just a Google search away. Number 2 The Samiad is sensitive to heat. As you might guess from its thick, luxurious coat, the Samiad prefers cooler temperatures. That thick double coat is after all meant to hold in heat and protect from very cold weather. If you live in a place with hot summers and not so cold winters as I do, this is probably not the breed for you. Don't allow your Sammy to overexert itself in heat. Schedule exercise and play sessions for cooler hours of the day and keep your Sammy inside in air conditioning when the temperature heats up. Number 1 Unlike certain breeds, we're looking at you, you corn chip smelling hounds. This Samiad is a stinkless pooch. You don't need to bathe Sammies as much as you would some other breeds, but frequent brushing is a must to keep your buddy's fur from matting. Bonus fact. 
Samias have a thick double coat. The bottom is soft and wool-like, while the top is coarse and straight. The dogs shed so much that some owners have gotten into the habit of collecting all the excess fur. The surplus can be spun into yarn that is used to make clothing. The material is warm and strong, and not to mention stinkless, making it a great alternative to sheep's wool. The Potomac Valley Samiad Club takes fur donations, which they then use to create everything from scarf to mittens. One crafter claims that a medium-sized paper bag of fur yields a large shawl and three pairs of baby booties. Want five more facts about the wonderful Samiad? Samoyed? Samiad? Go check out Yeti's Place video linked in the card here or in the description below. If you like this video, you can check out some of our other videos here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more cute, cuddly canines. And as always, catch you next time. Hi guys, welcome to Yeti's Place. This guy right here, he is Yeti the Samiad and I'm Yeti's mom.